Hello, Star Wars Galaxy of Hero players. This is Anditesh Ordo. Today, I'm going to be talking about Darth Bane. So, in one, the last video I made, uh, talking about the event, the February 2018 event, their calendar, and the, the showing of Sith Assassin being the login character, which I still personally think they could have combined Assassin and Trooper, but, you know, I'm still glad it's Assassin, because I still need to work on Assassin. Uh... You know, there's a lot of talk about Sith and Empire and a lot, a lot of sorts of rumors. So, of course, I'm someone that doesn't like doing rumors. I prefer to do, you know, what-if scenarios. So, if someone takes that as a rumor, then you got a problem. Because I will say that these are like what-ifs. Especially, a lot of the times in the titles, I put what-if. What-if. So, but I feel like... For, in, well, in that video, I was talking about Darth Bane a little bit and his leadership ability, uh, considered the rule of two. So, here's kind of my thoughts on Darth Bane being a viable option for uh, the Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes. First off, he's a Sith, so you're boosting Sith, not a problem. Two, he's a really popular character, just as popular as Bane, or <laughs> Bane is impo as popular as himself. Uh, Bane is just as, a pop, as popular as Revan. I, I know there's some, you know, I don't know there, I'd have to find a way if it, once I get my computer set up, I'll pull up, put up a poll to see, you know, what Sith everyone likes, Bane or Bane, or Bane or um, Revan. I do like Revan, but I also like Bane, especially since he was in a, the best trilogy of books, uh, Star Wars, Darth Bane, uh, The Rule of Two, and all those, so... So he, he's still a great Sith. He's a really cool Sith. I actually like the design of him. But, and so having him in the game is actually a really good opportunity to do uh, one better than Nihilus. A lot of people like Nihilus, but not as much as, you know, Bane and Revan. And maybe maybe they could be saving Revan for next year. Hmm. Um, so, like I said, in my video... Or, and I also did a recent video talking about um, what Sith could possibly come into the game. I talked about a, a chance of Bane, Malgus, and Sion. And one one character that I didn't talk about really is Darth Plagueis. So, yeah. So, so he could be another viable option for this month. I do hope it's Bane. Really, Bane is really where we need to be. And... And his rule of two, I feel like, would be a great opportunity to having a really unique leadership, way different, and only supported by a dark side character. And it makes sense with the rule of two. So in the in the last video, the event calendar video, I talked about rule of two being a fact of the <clears throat> as long as Darth Bane is a leader, uh, and I feel like this is a Zeta for sure. The very first character in the lineup right next to Bane would be able to share that leadership with the team as well. And it's only for Sith. So Bane and <clears throat> say you throw Nihilus in that spot. So Bane and Nihilus. So Bane's leadership is working plus Nihilus's uh, offense up, health, health steal. Uh, that is really working out. Or you could use Maul, Maul's ability to, you know, give all the Sith stealth uh, and evasion, stuff like that, or even, you know, Vader's ability with the damage over time. Of course, we're hoping that that he, that he gets him, his leadership and all that improved, and he gets a, a a unique added to him. Uh, Palpatine's leadership, we're supposed to be, we're most likely going to get him uh, reworked. So there's a lot of combos that you can have where you have Sith having two leaderships, two leaderships in the game. Uh, or in a battle that would be that might be a little overpowering, but since we've gotten Commander Luke Skywalker and uh, uh, Jedi Training Ray, they've been really powerhouses, they've been stomping a lot of teams. Like, yes, there's other teams that have risen up. Uh, we got Phoenix that's starting to rise up, uh, Night Sisters, of course, Phoenix, uh, Phoenix and uh, De uh, Imperial Troopers are stomp stomping Night Sisters, but Night Sisters is stomping Jedi Training Ray teams and Luke teams with their different combos that they have. So there's a lot of viability for that. So obviously, Darth Bane, I feel like, is also a great option for a legendary character 
right off the bat, I feel like he'd just be a 100% legendary character. You need Sith to unlock him. That is your legendary character to unlock with Sith. Uh, number two, uh, obviously he'd have five abilities, a basic, two specials, a leader, and a unique, unless they decide to do something kind of wacky like Yoda, where it's like, you know, a, a basic, four specials, and a leader. Uh, but I feel like he would fit better as a basic, two specials, a uh, unique, and a leadership. Unless he does, unless he has one special and two uniques, that could change up some things too. Uh, but going into it, so... The basic and special, I've never really, you know, thought too much of. I'm sure he'll have a basic kind of similar to Vader or similar to Maul or something like that. I know they'll, he'll have some bonuses against uh, Jedi. Uh, he might even ha be one of the unique characters that have bonuses against Sith as well. Uh, being as the fact that he stopped the brotherhood of uh, the brotherhood that was the original Sith at that time. Uh, in the time period, if you read the books, uh, the Brotherhood of Darkness, that's what it was. And, you know, he stops them so he could have a unique effect where Jedi and Sith, he, you know, does double damage or he has an extra like 50% damage or 25%, something of that nature. So that would be great and is unique. Basic and two specials, like he probably might have an AoE or he may have a a Sith team buff or a ally team buff or, you know, maybe a dispel effect, kind of like uh, Kylo, Ren, uh, Kylo Ren on masks, but not the stun part, but like just some sort of stunning effect. He he has a lot to work with. I will say that. He has a lot to work with. Um, but I feel like going to his leadership ability, I feel like he would be the best uh, Sith, one of the best Sith. The second best would be Malgus. But one of the best Sith to actually house the counter chance for Sith. Because I feel like it'd be great to have a counter chance team. And then if you throw it, if the rule of two leadership doesn't work the way I'd be hoping for, uh, at least dark side battles and cantina battles, you get to play around with having uh, Bane and Nihilus or Bane and uh, Maul uh, combos of leadership. So. You know, there's that. So I feel like he would be great with counter chance. Uh, maybe even have some counter damage. Uh, he'd be good with speed as well. But I think really the ultimate leadership ability at the end, like, yes, he'll always have some sort of stats given to him. But I feel like the ultimate part of it would be the very first um, spot holder right after um, the leader. The very next one is built for a sub leader. And Darth Bane's rule of two will will take that leadership. And if they don't have a leadership for some reason, you know, maybe uh, all Sith get an extra, like, 10 speed or something. So that if you do throw a character in, like, you have a, a, a team built a, of maybe Sith or just randoms, like, they don't have a Sith leadership, you at least can have... Uh, you, you're at least still giving bonuses in some form or fashion. I feel like that'd be the greatest. Um, and his unique, I feel like, even on his own under, like, another character's leadership, like Maul or Nihilus, I feel like his unique should also still have counter chance and giving him both, like, probably 70-75% 70, counter chance. Um, if, and maybe that's set up as if he's not a leader, he gets that. And if he is a leader, he gets maybe 50-55% counter chance. So he has counter chance regardless, because that's kind of how his leadership is built, or his character is built. Because Ham, Vader, Malgus, they all have the, uh, they all practice the Jim So uh, lightsaber fighting com or lightsaber combat style, and it's based on you block or parry, and then you counterattack, block or parry, counterattack, and that's kind of how they are. Yes, they're also strength based. Uh, it's a strength based. Uh, fighting style but still if you get that idea so but yeah that's my thoughts on darth bane i feel like yes he would be a great counter chance character and a great counter chance leader but on top of that yes of course they'd have like another uh bonus stat or two for sith like maybe max max defense and max health or max protection max health speed there's always going to be something but i feel like a really good ideal darth bane would have counter chance for the sith as a leadership and and if he's not a leader, he still gets himself counter chance anyways. And the rule of two 
I feel like the rule of two is really where it would play play into making Sith be on top of the meta again. Yes, that means we might have a Darth Maul leadership, Zeta Maul and Zeta Bane. <clears throat> Zane, and, it'd be called Zane and uh, Zal back in the game, you know, bringing Maul back into the game, or maybe even Nihilus, because Nihilus is count, uh, getting a chance to counter, the team getting a chance to counter, uh, and healing back up is really effective. So, you know, let me know what you guys think in the comments below about Darth Bane. Do you feel like this would be a great way to throw Darth Bane? Um, maybe, maybe the leadership might be too powerful. I'm not sure. I don't, there's no way to really test it. Um, but uh, uh, the developers obviously have that ability to, you know, create and test. So, yeah, let me know what you guys think about Bane in, in the comments below. And let me know what you guys think, who the legendary characters, or if there's going to be a legendary character, who's going to be the big bad Sith that we're going to get uh, from February 2018. I still hope that they still, in like in my Sith video uh, I created, uh, I do hope that we do get a couple of um, generics, kind of like a Sith Marauder, a Sith Juggernaut. I feel like Sith Juggernaut would be great because we'd get another tank, a Sith um, Marauder for another attacker, and a Sith, uh, what was it, not Sorcerer. Yeah, Sith Sorcerer. So we can get kind of a cleansing healer. And... And then we get maybe Bane and maybe even Darth Zana. I don't, I may have to look, um, kind of play around with that idea for Darth Zana. Um, Darth Bane's, um, apprentice slash, you know, replacement, uh, part of the rule of two. So, but yeah, thanks for watching. I really guys, I really appreciate you guys, uh, watching the videos that I make and yeah, you guys have a wonderful day.